As always, I'm going to prime my face with my Makeup Forever HD Primer. I will squirt the product out on the back of my hand first, and then with my finger, I'm going to blend it out on my face evenly. Now guys, it is very important to prime your face first because it will protect your skin from breaking out. And now I'm going to use my MAC Studio Finish Concealer to conceal the area on my face that needed to be concealed, and I will conceal those spots by using my finger and pat it on my forehead. Using my MAC Pro Longwear Foundation and squirt it on the back of my hand and with my finger to dot it all over my face. Then I'm going to use my Sephora Foundation Brush to blend out the product. Now I'm going to use my Leo Ellie Sun Elastic Pack and with a Sephora Powder Brush, I'm going to pat the powder foundation onto my face. Then I use my Mona Lisa Eyebrow Pencil to fill in my brow. And now I'm going to use my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly and I'm going to prime it on my eyelid to help prevent my eyeshadow from creasing. Today I will mostly use my Maybelline Eye Studio Palette and mostly drugstore products. But first I'm going to use my Revlon Palette and using this nude champagne color. And with my finger I'm going to blend it on my lid as a color base first. And now I'm using another one of my Revlon palette and I'm using this lilac purple and with my finger I'm going to blend it on my eyelid. I'm going to use the first lightest purple color in this palette and I'm using my eyeshadow brush. I'm going to pat this color all over my eyelid. Then I'm using the second shade of purple and with the same brush I'm going to pat it over the first purple. Now I'm going to use this last darkest shade of purple and the brush that I'm going to use is from my Tokidoki Matora Brush Set and it's a crease brush so which means I'm going to make it a crease. using the last color that remained in the palette and I'm using the eyeshadow applicator brush that came with the palette and I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eye to brighten my eye out. Now going back with my second shade of purple, I'm going to sweep this color on my waterline. And using this darkest shade of purple again, I'm going to sweep it on the outer corner of my waterline. Now I'm going to use my MAC Marker Liner to make a long cat eye. Oh, and by the way, it's a lot easier to do this by tilting your head towards the mirror. Using my Maybelline Waterproof Ultra Liner in Black to overlap the cat eye liner to make it smudge proof. Now I am going to line my waterline. Now going back with my Revlon palette with a white pearl color and since this is a creamy color I'm going to use my concealer brush to blend it under my brow bone as a base color. Going back with the white color, I'm going to highlight my brow bone. 
And now I'm going to apply some falsie on my eye. And the falsie that I'm using is from my um, Model 21 Lash Palette. And now I'm going to curl my falsie. And now we're finished with the eye makeup. So we're gonna move on to the cheek and lips. And we're almost done, so be patient. Now I'm going to use this peachy coral blush from my Sephora Custom Makeup Palette. And with the blush brush, I'm going to apply this color onto my cheek. And now I'm going to use this peachy color Wet n Wild lipstick and apply this color onto my lip. And I decided to gloss it off by using this um, rosy color on my lip. So this look is now complete. I hope you guys will like it. And if you want to see more pictures of this look, then please like my Facebook. And the link is in the description to see more pictures of this look. And if you like this look, then please click like. And the like button is on your left. And if you want to see more of my upcoming video, then please click subscribe. And the subscribe button is also on your left. And thank you for watching. I love you all. Mwah. Bye.